a little list of what we have to show you. Okay, if we can try to quit mowing out there. There's a noise. Do you guys see a noise in here? <laughs> I don't think any of the water fountains anymore. I think everybody carries their own water fountains. It's like pay phones. There's no pay phones. Um, okay. So now we need to turn to. Is it coming from the mics? That's one of the problems with my hearing aids. I can't, that's sometimes why I have trouble when somebody says something, unless you raise your hand or look at me, I can't tell which side of the room it's coming from. That sounds to me like it's coming from the parking lot. Well, that's the light. It's the light, okay, then I'll let them know. Because we're supposed to let them know the building is, we got a female this morning, said the building is still under warrant. So, we're supposed to let the, con the construction guys know. And it seems like it's getting louder. Is it getting louder? Okay. Before it explodes. <laughs> I will email the secretary. Okay. Um, let's see. Where is our phone? Okay. So now we are going into. We're actually moving into a, a strategy that we're going to work on over the next few weeks. Okay, we talked about what to look for in what we do. Um, and these two steps are the first steps in this strategy that's going to have a number of steps. Okay, so that's why I'm so interested in your ability to do these two things. Okay, to pick out the topic, which we already know how to do, we look for the thing that's repeated or referred to most often. And then, understand what the main idea is and understand the difference. A handful of people, most people did really well on the first two parts, so I didn't even worry about a couple of people that I had to do um, um, Yes. What did that do today? What? What did that do today? Yeah, we're going to go over it. Oh. Yeah. Um, most people got this right. The topic of a paragraph is this. Not this. A couple of people circled A, which is wrong. The topic and the main idea are two different things. Topic's a thing. This paragraph is about the story behind Cinco de Mayo. The paragraph is trying to tell me that many people don't know why we celebrate it, and it's not the day Mexico got their independence. It's the day of this little battle, okay? So here we're working on both, all right? So you're gonna read each paragraph, do your same thing. Again, remember I took the scaffolding away, so you're doing your same thing there. Tell me what it's about and then decide what it's trying to tell you. So, what is this first paragraph about? This paragraph is about what? Bison. Bison. Okay. And what are bison? Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah. They're just, that's <laughs> just another word for buffalo. Yeah. Okay. Did anybody put down anything other than just bison? 
Okay, yeah, there's something else going on here. Um, actually, and this is where this, these two things kind of go together, yeah. I put down survival. Survival, okay, yeah, that's the other thing that's, that's running through here. Um, so again, many different ways to phrase this. Bison survival, bison and survival, the survival of bison. You know, it doesn't, don't correct it if you have it, you know, people, I'm always seeing that on this. When I write something up there, everyone corrects theirs, and what you had down was maybe a better answer than what I wrote up there. So don't correct it if you're close. Okay, this is a thing. Um, now, th I want to emphasize this, too. What Ruthie said was okay, that would work, how bison survive. That's what you said, right? This paragraph is about, because that's a thing. But keep, this is why I'm writing this in a different pen. What people tend to do, what students tend to do with these two test sentences over a period of time is, they tend to start editing them. And the reason this works is because of grammar, okay? So what you don't want to do is start editing this thing in your head to this. Because if you do this, between what I would write for the answer to this, which is a thing, and how the, putting this word here changes this. This paragraph is about how, yeah, what you have to write here is going to be this. See the difference? That, just those two words, remember back to our complete sentences at the very beginning? That's why I do that at the very beginning. This, it's not a very long sentence, but it's a sentence. It has a subject, a verb, and a complete idea. Bison survive. It doesn't tell us how or why, but grammatically, that's a complete sentence. So that's why I don't want you to do this. Stick with this. Write these down. This is, again, note taking. Write down everything you see on the board. These two little hints are not in your book. They're my way of understanding what the book tells you. This paragraph is about that forces you because now this doesn't make sense, right? This paragraph is about bison survive. That's not a good sentence. This paragraph is about bison's survival. That's correct. A lot of people say, I don't, you know, really see the difference. You're saying the same thing. It's a, it's a kind of a sneaky grammar lesson in here, in addition to the idea of the topic. Okay. So don't edit these. Use exactly these tests. OK, so then the, the question is, and remember, I want to see that you are doing this kind of thing. What, what about this word, extinct? Is that a reference to the idea of survival? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the opposite, right? So it is a reference. They um, were almost extinct, yeah. That means like they're almost completely gone, like yeah. almost all extinct dead, right? Extinct means almost completely gone. So extinct means they didn't survive. They almost didn't survive. So this is a reference, OK? Um, what about grow, grow rarer? Is that a reference to survival? Uh, grew, grew rare. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like very rare? Yeah. Like very so there, there are fewer and fewer of them. That's a reference to survival. Okay. What about hunting? Yes. Yeah. That's, those are all kind of references to the survival of the bison. Okay. Um, and the bison lived on. So it's, I'm glad that you guys got the idea of survival because actually that word only appears once, right? But all those other references indicate the idea of survival, okay? Is there a reversal transition? No. Yes. Yeah. 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 She has her. Oh. She she wanted okay. to point one out. Yeah. Um. Yet. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. Because again, if you think back to what we've been doing, if you look at this first sentence, by the end of the 19th century, the bison in this country were almost extinct. Okay. It looks like if we if we question that first sentence and say, okay, why? What made them almost extinct? Right? Does this paragraph tell us what made them almost extinct? No. Anybody know what made them almost extinct? Yeah. yeah. It um, was I know it because they used the fur for clothing, yeah. they ate them, yeah. they used them for all kinds of things. Yeah, the Native Americans basically almost hunted them out of existence because they used everything, okay? But it doesn't go into that. There's our emergency transition. They survived largely because of as aggressive as those hunters were, <laughs> they, were but they were, in the end, they were lazy, okay? That makes sense. So yeah, remember this is this is important. Okay. So our topic is bison survival. Which one of these sentences? And notice these are all complete sentences. Is the best answer to this? I guess the one. Okay. Against all odds, the author is trying to tell me that, against all odds, America's bison survived, mainly because few hunters were determined enough to follow their practices. Okay. And, um, uh, was, it also, was it also because it cost too much money to do the hunting and everything? Like, it just, it was too much, it cost too much, or? Is that what this paragraph says? Um, no, but <laughs> worried about what the paragraph says. Also, in the paragraphs it says laziness. Yes. Yeah. So yes, so the laziness and the few who are determined. That's good. That's a connection to the laziness. Okay, what about and this is again it's why I do use her um, Senses instead of just having you guys start off writing them up. Because we want to kind of talk about why isn't number A right? Does anybody think A? It's uh, bison. The <coughs> bison were extinct. It's uh, good. And yeah. it says mostly. Almost. Yeah, Two, good. Two things here. Okay, and again, this is trying to trick you guys who are just trying to do this at, at the half hour before class starts and you're not paying enough attention to it, okay? Yeah, one real good clue, as Sam says, is by the end of the 19th century, Americans' bisons were, were extinct. Were they? No. no. They weren't, so right off the bat, you don't even have to read the, the end of this. That's wrong. Awesome. What about this? So uh, they still have looking for them. Okay. <laughs> but here's my question. Does this mention any other prey? No. no. So two reasons. This is right. What about C? 
the bison are yet another example of how early Americans failed to preserve the country's natural resources. It's talk about how Americans, uh, th that wasn't the story the Amer about the Americans? Yeah, it, that isn't mentioned at all. And another thing about this one, why might somebody pick this one? This is something we don't get into very much in this class, except as we talked about, don't put your own opinions in a symbol. <coughs> what does this do? <coughs> Natural resources is something that's coming from the earth. Yeah. So what is this saying? What is the person who wrote this in interjecting into this paragraph that's not there? Uh, it, well, it's not just an example, it's an opinion. This is an opinion that's not in there at all. Okay, so yeah, so again, we want to just, as far as test taking, um, read everything, but be prepared to kind of judge why, why is this teacher putting this on here? Okay, what kind of things might this teacher throw at me? to make me circle one of these. That's not right. They're trying to trick you. That's, that's what I'm trying to get across, okay? But if you read carefully, this is also a reading issue. Okay, let's take a break until 12 after, and then we'll come back and look at the rest of these. And I'm gonna go run quickly over to my office and get my that I left up on my door and then you can design it.